This morning, the former president is back home in New Jersey after surrendering to authorities in Georgia for charges of conspiring to overturn the 2020 election. There you see Trump's mugshot. That was a piece of history right there. First mugshot of an American president. Aaron Katursky, our senior investigative correspondent, starts us off. Good morning, Aaron. George, good morning again to you. The former president came and went in no time, just long enough to be booked on 13 criminal charges and to take that historic photo. This morning, the first mugshot of a former American president, Donald Trump, glowering into the camera at the Fulton County Jail, where he turned himself in to face charges he conspired to overturn the results of the 2020 election in Georgia. I really believe this is a very sad day for America. This should never happen. Trump arrived in Atlanta on his private plane, waving and giving thumbs up on his way to surrender for the fourth time this year. Unlike the prior three, this time Trump was booked at a jail where he was fingerprinted and photographed. His height and weight provided in advance to speed things along. Trump was in and out in less than half an hour, released on a $200,000 bond. He put up 10% with the help of a local bail bondsman. Before leaving Atlanta, Trump offering a defense. We did nothing wrong at all, and we have every right, every single right, to challenge an election that we think is dishonest. Trump did challenge the election in court. He filed more than 60 lawsuits contesting aspects of it, losing all but one. The indictment alleges Trump was atop a criminal organization that tried to help him cling to power. His one-time chief of staff, Mark Meadows, and his former attorney, Rudy Giuliani, are among 18 alleged co-conspirators. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis wants to try all of them together, but the judge granted a request by one defendant, Kenneth Chesbro, for a speedy trial and said it would begin October 23rd. Another defendant, John Eastman, is also pursuing an expedited trial. Trump made clear in a court filing he would not agree to a trial to begin in less than two months' time, but he may have to be back here in Atlanta in about two weeks to enter his plea of not guilty. George? Okay, thanks very much.